If you have been using Cloud Code, you know that everything is done inside of the terminal. Probably it's because I'm used to cursor's interface where I can toggle and see exactly which part is code and which part is actually text from the LLM talking to me. And they tried to solve this with these dot, like this white dot is the LLM text and then followed by a bash command, then followed by a code update. But still it isn't ideal. I believe that in a couple of months, Anthropic might launch its own interface. It could even be an extension for VS Code, who knows? But until then, we have an open source alternative. And this isn't 100% optimized yet. You'll see some glitches from now and then, but still, it's a pretty nice alternative. And I always love to see these open source builds. In here, you can select Cloud Code Projects, go inside of a specific directory. For my case, it's the community gather project that I'm working on. Let me click on this version and you'll see the interface a bit similar to how cursor handles it. So applies where it removed a part of the code where it added code. And then when it has any bash commands, it shows that separately in a terminal. And then wherever the LM used a terminal command like npm run build, the interface is different. So it really helps us keep track of which changes were performed. You also have this feature down here where you can decide if it should use basic reasoning, deeper analysis, extensive reasoning, maximum computation. Haven't used that yet, but it seems pretty awesome. Another thing I liked about this Claudia open source alternative is referring a specific folder or a file. So if I want to refer to the commands, I can type that in and it will find that just fine. And some things are really just details because you can do this in Claude code, but just understanding what is a file and what is a folder, like I place a, a backslash here and then like these are probably like directories of my project, but still it just feels much better to just type this in and understand all the files that are inside of my project. Another feature is the timeline. This is still in beta as it seems, but you could basically place a checkpoint and this checkpoint works, should work pretty similar to how cursor works, which let me see if I have a past prompt here. Yeah, right here, see this restore checkpoint. I could go back to a version of the code before everything that was changed after this specific prompt. And that comes in really handy. Another thing that is pretty useful is the usage dashboard. I believe this usage dashboard is if we were to use the API from Claude and not pro plan, because that's what I'm using. Like I didn't actually spend $14 and it's good to see that in just two days, uh, let me see timeline. So it's just two days using Claude code. It's nice to see that with only two days of Claude code usage, I already spent $14. And it makes me even a bit suspicious to know if this is actually the right value. And by the way, this isn't a sponsored video. It's just a project that I saw on GitHub and felt like it would be pretty awesome to share with you guys. And speaking of awesomeness, another thing you could add to Claudia is MCP servers. I haven't tested this feature yet. And if you do, please let us know in the comment section how it worked out. So yeah, enough said, let me close Claudia. Come here to my Linux instance. I have to close this and delete the Claudia folder because I will install everything from the absolute zero to show how you can install this on your own computer. Before anything else, if you're on Windows, you have to install the WSL, which you can find here in the Microsoft Store. Just come over here, type in WSL, and then download the latest Ubuntu version. You can just click on it, hit install. After you install Ubuntu, you'll likely see this Linux folder down here which should confirm that now you have a subsystem Linux running inside of your Windows. So just type in Ubuntu and this should open up. From this point on, despite you being on Windows, every command that you type is going to run as a Linux command. So the same exact steps that I do here will work for Linux as well as Mac. And despite Claudia running inside of Windows, you won't want to install it inside of Windows just because it won't be able to execute the Claude code as Claude code only runs in Linux or Mac, at least for now. So the first thing you'll want to install is Rust, just copy that, paste that in there and hit enter. I already installed it. So let me clear the terminal. It's pretty easy. And the only error that you might get is this one cargo not found, which basically means that Rust might have been installed, but isn't identified inside of your path. And if that does happen, just type in source and then yeah, just basically this command right here. Following on now, we just have to install bun, which is this command, just paste that in there, hit enter. I already did that. So let's follow on and install Git. If you already don't have Git and to verify if you have Git, just type in Git V and you'll see the version of your Git. If you don't have it installed, a version won't be shown and you'll have to install sudo apt-get install 
install git. Hit enter and it'll install for you. Just the Mac is different because you'll install it using brew. At this point, I believe you already have Claude code. If you don't, you have to go over to the Claude website, get this command right here, which is npm install uh, the Claude code, paste it inside of your terminal and that is it. You'll maybe need to install npm to execute this command, but I don't want to go much further into how to install Claude code or else I'll lose the focus with the video. But you can just pause the video and check out these commands right here. Confirm that you have Claude code. All you have to do is grab everything here and paste it in there. For Mac, it's just these commands and for Windows, we're going to ignore this part because we're executing everything inside of WSL. Now we have all the tools necessary to execute Claudia. We'll want to clear this out and clone the project over to our Ubuntu. Let's just paste that in, cloning Claudia. Nice, now we'll want to get inside of that folder. And since we have bun, we can just type in bun i and everything will be installed. Okay, that's done pretty fast. Let's clear that out and execute bun run tari build. Hit enter and go grab yourself a coffee. Yeah, so any error you see related to cargo, it's because of rust. So let me reinstall it, hit one, and, and now the cargo folder should be installed. Okay, seems nice. I could check this manually by going over to Ubuntu folder Leonardo, and there is the dot cargo folder. Let me minimize this. Now I can execute this command, which should make it persistent, clear, go inside of the Claudia project, and now let me run that same command once again. Bun run tari build. Now can I go get my coffee? It started running, so see you guys in just a bit. Yep, finally. If you're following along and grabbed a cup of coffee while it was building, let us know in the comment section. Let me see if the camera focuses on the mug. This camera is new, I'm still testing it. It seems like it always focuses on my face if it sees a face. It ha, this is so cool. Okay, so since we have it built, let's just execute the final command, which is this one right here. Uh, for Windows, it would be different, but again, we're executing this. Despite being in Linux, we're executing it inside of Ubuntu, that is inside of our Linux. Just paste that command in, hit enter, and should open up Claudia. Nice. So that's it. It opened up and these permission denied errors. Uh, I can close this type in sudo su enter my root user and now execute the same thing. The errors will be gone, but this isn't the right way for you to run it because then when you try to execute Claude, you'll get admin errors. So there it is, you'll get different warnings, but yeah, don't mind these warnings. So if you were inside of root, just type in exit and you'll get out of that. Now let me start a fresh project here. Uh, test project will be the name of it. Uh, I close this, go over to Claudia, CC projects, new Claude code session. I'll select Leonardo, test project, hit open, and I'll ask Claude anything. Let me ask it to build something using HTML because then you'll see the preview feature from Claudio. I typed in create an HTML project that uses new brutalism design with a pastel color palette. It should be just a mock admin dash page only. Let me hit submit and see what it builds for us. This could also be an XJS project since it's basically running the localhost 3000 here and just offers you a better way to visualize things with a browser next to Cloud Code. Apparently it tried to run the server in the port 8000 using Python, but there is no Python inside of this WSL instance. <laughs> So it just gave up and told me to open the index.html. Yeah, so I guess that is it for today. Thanks for watching. If this video helps you at all, leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this. See you in the next one. Till then.